the wife of a Sydney terrorist got a harsh lesson today from the very legal system she loathes. She's been found guilty of refusing to stand in court and could now wind up in jail. Ali Donaldson was there. Mutia El Hazad left court the first person convicted under new laws for not standing before a judge, and her supporters were not happy. El Hazad, the wife of a convicted terrorist recruiter, gave the ISIL salute, raising her finger. Go find a sewer. Off. Do you I beg your pardon? Go find a sewer. Do you think that's a nice way to speak to people? This is Australia, mate. I can say whatever I bloody well like. But Al Hazad can no longer thumb her nose at the law. She today was found guilty of disrespectful behaviour for refusing to stand for a judge on nine separate occasions. In handing down her decision, Magistrate Carolyn Huntsman achieved what none of her colleagues had managed to do so before. She made her stand and told her to remain standing until she had finished. The magistrate said her behaviour was intentional and it was disrespectful to the court and judge. I take my hat off to that magistrate and so will... So will so many other Australians. Well, the National Imams Council uh, has made it very clear that uh, Islam does not require people to refrain from standing in court. A gap in existing contempt laws spurred the New South Wales government to introduce the new law two years ago. Her husband, Hamdi El Qudzi, is already in jail for helping to send young Australians to fight in Syria. She too may soon be behind bars, but her lawyer says she's suffered enough. She's been trolled, she's been harassed by media, she's received death threats. It's just um, time for everyone just to leave her alone and give her a break. Ali Donaldson, 10 Eyewitness News.